exercises. All right, all right. So exercises for while my guitar gently weeps. Um, we're gonna break it into two sections. Two sections. A and B. Okay. The A section being the. The B section being. See, I, but but play the right chords, not like not like I just did. <laughs> um, so let's see here. Let's get that moving a little bit. Which way? That way. Yeah. Um, all right. So the two exercises. We're gonna need a metronome for this. Metronome doesn't have to look like this, but a metronome nonetheless has to click. Um, and we're gonna set it around 63. Okay, 63 BPM beats per minute. And uh, I'm gonna write that down here on your chart. 63 BPM. Now, when you're doing this, um, there's your metronome. All right. So as you're as you're as you got your metronome going, we're just gonna start playing the different parts, okay? One, two, three, go. So that's the first A, and with them that was with the metronome. Now, now, I got a little ahead on that one. I, 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 I I've got to admit. So, but I, but I just slowed back down. You see, you see what, what that that's important because the metronome is always the boss. If, if, if uh, the metronome says you know you're going too slow, or you're going too fast, it's right. <laughs> it, it's 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 a, it's a, it's it's the machine. It, it knows it knows it's good at keeping time. So. So that's what I want you to do on that on that A section is play the part, play it nice and slow and nice and and smooth. Now what happens if I if I if I make a mistake? So let's say. Oh. Oh, oh no. Okay, and then oh. F oh. The, I listen for the clicks because because I would and I stop to. Oh, okay, there. And then I came back into the right place. So even if you make a mistake, just make sure you kind of try to remember where you are, where you where you are, and listen to the count, listen to the clicks, and and that'll tell you where you need to need to get back onto. Okay. Um, now for the second part of the song, the B section of the song, that's where we have our strumming end. Okay, so for this exercise, what I want you to do is I want you to start with just the first two, like we did today, just the first two strums, and then forget about the that 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 that. Okay, and just and just make sure you're moving to the right chords quick uh, in the right time. So, one, two, three, four. So that's so that's the first part. Now <laughs> the next part is we're gonna add uh, the the next part of the strum. We're gonna add the next two. So we're gonna go.
okay? So that's the second part. And so what we're building up to is playing the, the part as it, as, it's, as it is, but we gotta keep it in time. Now that part might have been a little fast at 63 for you, and if it is, go ahead and turn down the metronome to around, you know, 54 or 52 if you like. Um, and then after that, then it's then it's, it's then it's it. Then we can then we can do the whole thing together because then we just add the last two little beats. Okay. Uh, finally, it's gonna be. And if you can't if you, if you're having trouble making it from one chord to the next by playing and playing all of them, what you can do is chop off the last one like this. moving before before I'm running out of time all right so that's the idea for today any questions on any of that stuff I know I kind of breezed over it but you've got it all recorded so just hop on there and if you, if you have any questions okay